the word works in spite of all that has happened in the world within the church all that has been said about the church about uh, christianity i still say that the word works hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is pastor zinke and i'm here with my very first 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 story time these story times that i will be sharing with you guys are real life stories so i'm not gonna cut anything out i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything out i will just be telling you um the way that it happened the way that the stories happened so yeah um i'm i'm i'm, I'm very <laughs> i'm very how can i say i'm very excited and i'm also very skeptical about putting my life out there and about just being so open and so transparent for the world to see but i believe that the words of um the 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 the, the words of uh, of god over my life have produced the results that i am currently experiencing and that you may also experience them too so yeah today's story time um i want to talk about something that um yeah i didn't know i didn't know that uh, story times especially if you are telling real life stories would be this difficult but i want to talk about something that really um changed my life right so if you want to know and you want to hear all about my life who am i what i'm about where am i from i'm gonna be unpacking it in a form of st uh, of story times because i'm a storyteller i'm a teacher i love in uh telling my stories in 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 a different way right after all i am pastor zinkley the baby girl so i love putting a twist here and there and sharing my stories as testimonies right so before we get into the story time if you are new to this channel i would pledge you and urge you and beg you i actually prayed for you last night as i was uh, uploading the video that i did if you have not seen the video of yesterday um i will leave the link below in the description box it's about relationships it's it's it it, it was mind-blowing even to me as i was recording it so yeah enough of that if you are new here in this channel and you would like to know more about me more about pastor zinke the baby girl more about this lady who has overcome so much pain and has walked into her healing without any um, medical help or any mental uh, assistance but only through the word of god so this is my bible guys i'm gonna share a little bit of my story time with you so if you would like to know a little bit more of myself about myself make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe button that notifications bell and make sure that you comment share your own stories maybe your story can be a testimony maybe your story can become to know more about who this uh, pastor zinkler the baby girl is in terms of who am i what i'm about um i am gonna be unpacking a little bit more of myself on camera but i am gonna do it in in form in a form of story times maybe because i don't really have that many exciting stories to tell but shh, i actually have a lot but yeah um just to get uh you know the conversation started and to make sure that i use this platform to really bring as many people the word of god because after all i am a pastor so right today's topic i want to share with you guys how i overcame my paralysis or my 
yeah my paralysis um I, I i don't even know how to put it um my unnatural paralysis um so it started i think um uh if i can just remember i think it was this is 2021 okay so it started in um 2001 right so that that's about 10 years ago if my maths is not good guys so it started about 2001 No, it was actually 2011. See how bad my math skills are. <laughs> it was actually 2011. Yeah, I think I remember. And it was June. It was, yeah, sometime. It was mid-May. It was mid-May towards June. Just um, as I was heading um, to towards my birthday. And it was, it, it was going to be a big one, right? I was going to celebrate my... 30th birthday then and one day i just woke up and when i woke up i felt that um one of my legs sort of like felt like it was dislocated and i was a bit chubby you know um so i just thought oh, maybe i need to go back to the gym yes i was uh, i was going to the gym but i just thought it's either um i pulled the muscle or something but then i didn't take it to heart um so the first week i was limping a little bit but i didn't really put it to heart and then the second week lo and behold i couldn't walk the second leg it just also went it locked right and i didn't know what was wrong i honestly honestly did not know what was wrong i then started going to the doctors right i went to the doctors they went and now they began to do different kinds of tests and um there was one doctor that i went to he um he now said to me when i went to him there i think the second time or the third time he asked me do you pray and i said yes and um, he said if you pray all i can tell you is go back and pray and i was like oh wow I have no idea what this is why is this doctor not telling me what's wrong with me because I have suddenly gone uh, paralyzed and guys when I'm talking about paralysis it is not just small you know a limping no from my waist going down I was totally totally paralyzed and the doctor said to me now said to me no I'm gonna give you a wheelchair and then you're gonna yeah so the doctor said i'm gonna give you a wheelchair so i said no wheelchair and then he said okay at least try and use crutches so that at least you're too much on 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 your lower body and i also said no and he said so what are you gonna do i said to him give me some time i'm gonna come back to you when is my next appointment and um like i was saying so i said to the doctor give me some time when is my next appointment and he gave me the appointment date and i said to him okay when i come back you will still examine me and still tell me and he was like i don't want to use up your medical aid i mean it's either you're gonna take i'm gonna put you on medication i said okay it's fine write the script down um I'll take the medication and then I'll come back to you. And um, I think the next um, examination date was a month later. So yeah, I, I, I took the medication, I think for like two or three days, there was no difference. I, uh, I was in pain. I was in pain. I was literally crawling every time that i would want to go to the bathroom i would crawl because i couldn't walk if i've if i'm sitting down for more than 10 minutes standing up will be a mission driving was a mission you know what you, if you can just imagine somebody who is paralyzed but who is refusing totally refusing to accept the situation that was me right um 
driving it was a it was a mission at that time i was still working in corporate i was working in sentin and living in midrand if you know if you live in in johannesburg south africa you know the traffic between sentin and uh, midrand and i would drive to work and sometimes i would stuck i would get stuck in the middle of the road because i can't change gears or i can't move my legs anymore my legs have just locked so after a month um i went back to the doctor and in that month so this is where the story now comes in in that month when i was at home experiencing all of that not being able to take care of my kids and mind you by that time i had a a, a one-year-old which i couldn't even pick i couldn't pick him up i couldn't i couldn't do anything thank god i had a nanny that was really supportive you know so in that month i kept going to the word of god i kept going back to the word of god i kept going to the word of god i kept going to the word of god and i kept praying and i said god you did not create me like this you did not create me paralyzed i was not in an accident i didn't fall i di and another thing about me in as much i know some of you will be saying definitely it was witchcraft it that that thought crossed my mind but i didn't want to put my mind there right i knew what um the word of god said so i kept confessing the word i kept confessing the word and i said that by the his stripes i was healed therefore if i was healed it means i am healed whatever it is that's happening in my body you know what wherever you are coming from you will go back where you came from I had such stubborn faith, right? So, um, a, a, a month came, I went back to the doctor. And when I went back to the doctor, I, I was still, obviously, you know, walking. And it became so bad that even my walk started changing and I was like walking, limping, you know, this way. But I still totally, totally refused. I totally refused. I said, I am not going to use crutches and I'm not going to use a wheelchair. I will walk. But let me tell you guys the funny thing. Um, the funny thing about this whole thing. I'm one person. I'm quite I'm short. I think I'm about 1.5 meters. And um, I, I love shoes. I love these expensive shoes. So I've got all these... Um, high heels you know the six inches seven inches eight inches and i couldn't wear them so there was one day in, in in that period you know when i was exercising my faith i actually went inside my cupboard and i looked at all my shoes and i looked and i and i started calculating how much money i've actually spent buying these shoes and i can't wear them all i can actually wear are slippers so i said no I started talking I talked to the shoes I said you shoes you will you will be worn but, uh, but I will wear you again you know and I started practicing wearing my high heels in that state so in the house I would wear my high heels going to work I would wear my high heels even if it meant I had five pairs of shoes in the boot of the car I would leave the house wearing my high heels after an hour change into a wedge after another hour change into slippers but i said i will wear the shoes and i kept going back and i said devil you have tried me um and you're not gonna win so really and when i went back to the doctor i'm just cutting the story short guys if you want to know more of what happened and what scriptures i used and what were my um meditations and what were my conf uh, my my confessions hit me up in the comment section below let's share let's get this talking let's get this conversation moving so that we can help each other and i remember when i I've always known the scripture. So this is the scripture that when I 
I went to the doctor, right? I went to the doctor. I came back still. There wasn't that much change. But then he said to me, okay, I think the best thing that you can do, stop wearing flat shoes. Maybe wear something that will elevate you. Maybe your wedges or, or even your heels, but not uh, your big, big heels. So I was like, oh, perfect. So there was progress, you see. So from slippers, when I went back to the doctor after a month, he said, okay, no, no, no. I think you can uh, go for wedges instead of flat shoes. And I was like, that's a testimony for me. And I went back home, right? So I was still exercising. I was still exercising my faith. I was still praying. I was still meditating on the word of God. I was still doing everything that I needed to do as a Christian. And I remember going to the Bible and I came across this scripture i love this scripture this is one of my favorite scriptures right amongst a lot of scriptures and it is found in the book of revelations chapter 12 verses 11. i know it is such a common scripture but when i read it it there was like a light bulb moment you know that just happened and i was like wow and it it, it reads and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death and when i started reading the scripture one thing about me even this day i love personalizing the scriptures right i love personalizing the word of god i don't want to read the bible as if like i'm reading a history book right so i kept saying and Zintle overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and that was my testimony i said and Zintle overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the words of her testimonies so Anytime that people will ask me, how are you feeling today? And as I used to say, I'm strong. You know what? If you can see me, I'm walking in my heels. I'm actually planning on going to buy another pair set of um, Louis Vuitton heels or something like that. My testimony was that I never, 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 not once ever considered myself as somebody that was paralyzed, right? I made sure that my testimony was aligning with the word of God, right? So a lot of people probably thought I was crazy. A lot of people thought, oh, she's going through a lot of things. You know what? Let's just support her, whatever. But let me tell you, even when I used to go and preach, sometimes going to the pulpit, I needed people ushers my protocol team to come and help me hold me by my hand so that i can climb the steps they, we had an only like two steps you know to get into our uh, pulpit area but i couldn't even do that so imagine imagine even the car coming out of the car was a mission but i kept i kept um meditating on this word and this word was like a a a, a light bulb like i said and i said and Zintle overcame him and i said i overcame the devil i overcame him by the blood of the lamp and every time i would say that sometimes i would quickly open up my fridge take out a, um some coke take up some uh, take out some bread and break bread quickly and i said this blood this blood and this body that uh, um, uh, represents the body and the blood of jesus christ is what has given me the ability to overcome the devil and i kept saying it and i kept saying it so yeah guys that is just one of my many story times that I'm going to bring to you guys and it doesn't end there maybe um the next one that I will put in I will tell you how it progressed and I I can honestly tell you that where I am right now I am not 100 100 100 percent and it's it's 10 years later but I never used the wheelchair I never used uh crutches I never went for an operation all that i used was the word of god and if this testimony has blessed you and has um inspired you to go back to the word of god let me know in the comment section below if you are facing some things if you are going through some um um 
um, health issues in your body, in your life, whether it be it your children or whether it be, because I am telling you, if I can come and tell you my stories, you will know that the word works. Make sure that you follow me on my socials, DM me, send me messages. I want to pray with you. I want to stand in faith with you. I want to tell you that we are more than conquerors. Remember, your mess is a message. God loves you. I love you. Stay blessed until we see each other again.